FC Metz, Wikipedia Audio Football Club de Metz, commonly referred to as FC Metz or simply Metz, is a French association football club based in Metz, Lorraine. The club was formed in 1932 and plays in Ligue 1, the highest level in the French football league system. Metz plays its home matches at the Stade Municipal Saint Symphorien located within the city. The team is managed by Frederick Hans. In their 85 year history, Metz have spent 60 seasons in Ligue 1 and 17 seasons in Ligue 2. They have won the Coupe de France twice and the Coupe de la Ligue twice. FC Metz was founded in 1932 by the amalgamation of two amateur athletic clubs, and shortly thereafter became a professional team, it is one of the oldest professional football teams in France. Its roots trace back further, to the SPVGG Metz Club, formed in 1905 when the city of Metz was part of the German Empire. SPVGG played in the Tier 1 West Kreisliga for a season in 1913-14, before the outbreak of the First World War stopped all play. Some players of this club were part of the Circle Athletic Messen in 1919, which went on to become FC Metz in 1932. Messen was a leading club in the Division d'Honneur Lorraine taking out league titles in 1920, 1921, 1922, 1924, 1926, 1927, 1929, and 1931. The club played in the French Second Division North from 1933, winning the league in 1935 and earning promotion to Ligue 1 for the first time. The team became a mid-table side in the first division until the outbreak of the war interfered with play once more. FCM did not take part in the top-tier regional competitions in 1939-40. History During World War II, the Moselle department being annexed by Germany, the club had to play under the Germanist name of FV Metz in the Galaga Westmark. In the three completed seasons of this league from 1941 to 1944, the club finished runners-up each year. Despite the city of Metz being retaken by Allied forces in autumn 1944, the club did not take part in French league football in 1944-45 but returned to Ligue 1 in 1945-46 to come 17th out of 18 clubs. An expansion of the league to 20 clubs meant, the team was not relegated and stayed at the highest level until 1950, when a last place finish ended its Ligue 1 membership. Metz was allowed to stay within L1 as a special privilege due to its catastrophic situation in the year following the war, the stadium had been damaged, almost beyond repair. The team had to start from scratch once again. The club rebounded immediately, finishing second in Ligue 2, behind Olympique Lyon and returned to the first division. FC Metz made a strong return to this league, finishing fifth in its first season back. After this, the club once more had to battle against relegation season by season, finishing second last in 1958 and having to return to Ligue 2. It took three seasons in this league before it could manage to return to Ligue 1 in 1961, but lasted for only one year in the top flight. FC Metz spent the next five seasons at second division level. FC Metz ascended to the top level of French football once more in 1967, the team remained in the highest division until they were relegated in 2001 although they bounced back immediately and returned to the Ligue 1 the following year. After losing the first leg of their 1984-85 Cup Winners' Cup tie 4-2 to Barcelona at Stade saint Symphorien, FC Metz were widely expected to be thrashed at the No Camp. 
However, a hat trick from Yugoslav striker Tony Kerbos gave Le Granits a shock 4 to 1 win in the second leg to send the French side through 6 to 5 on aggregate. In 2006, FC Mets were relegated from Ligue 1, finishing at the bottom of the table, despite the regular presence of an extremely promising prospect, Muralem Pjanic, who would later be transferred to Giants Lion, for an astonishing fee of 7.5 million euros. In 1998 the team competed in the qualifications to the UEFA Champions League finals but lost in the third round to finish Team HJK Helsinki. Finally, Mets once finished 18th in Ligue 2 and were relegated to the Championnat National, the third tier of French football after 1-1 draw with FC Tours at home match on May 20, 2012, in very tense circumstances. Mets spent only one season at this level, rebuilding a team with iconic former player Albert Cartier as coach, winning promotion to Ligue 2, and then immediately finishing first and winning promotion to Ligue 1. Unfortunately the team was relegated again to Ligue 2, but won again promotion the next season. This time, Mets managed to secure a 14th place synonym of a second season in Ligue 1 in a row. FC Metz plays its home matches at the Stade saint Symphorian, which has a capacity of 26,700. Thus, it is the largest venue dedicated to football in Lorraine. Its official colours are granite and white, from which the team derives its nickname Les Grenats. The team's crest features the Lorraine Cross, symbolic of the team's regional affiliation, and the dragon called the Graoli, which in local legend was tamed by Saint Clement of Metz. FC Metz also gained recognition in France and Europe for its successful youth academy, which produced star players including, Rigobert Song, Robert Pires, Louis Saha, Emmanuel Adebayer, Papas Sissa, Muralem Pjanic, Kalado Kalabali, and Sadio Main. The city's proximity to Luxembourg plays a significant role in the importation of young prospects. The club's board has close ties with the Luxembourgish Football Federation. Nicolas Nico Braun, the team's top all time goalscorer, as well as Muralem Pjanic or, closer to our times, Chris Phillips, have played in the GDS amateur leagues before joining Les Grenats. Despite this, not all Luxembourgers enjoy success with Mets, with Robert Robbie Langers as the best example of that, however. FC Mets has never won the French Championship. Its best result was a second-place finish in 1998, behind R.C. Lens. The title race lasted until the ultimate fixture, however Mets never recovered from a 0-2 loss against Lens on their home turf. Mets won the Coupe de France twice, in 1984 and 1988. The first of these victories enabled it to qualify for the European Cup Winners' Cup where it achieved arguably the team's greatest moment, an upset of FC Barcelona in the first round of the competition in October 1984. It lost 4-2 at home in the first leg but won 4-1 away in the return leg, thus qualifying 6-5 on aggregate making the FC Mets unique among the French teams who have beaten Barcelona at the No Camp. FC Mets also won the Coupe de la Ligue twice, in 1986 and 1996, and has made a total of 10 appearances in European tournaments. FC Mets in European Football Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. 
Below are the notable former players who have represented Mets in league and international competition since the club's foundation in 1932. To appear in the section below, a player must have played at least a full season for the club. Honours Domestic European Players Current squad On loan Notable players Current technical staff Managerial history